Welcome. Today I'll be explaining the lyrics to Drum and Lil Yachty's song, Broccoli. It's a cheerful and positive song. I haven't seen anything so positive since Rob Lowe took an STD test. Now let's get started. If you don't know Drum, his name stands for Does Real Ass Music. This is distinct from Tyga, who just does ass music. Cause he an ass. So what is broccoli? Well, it's what God invented to fuck with toddler Jesus. He was like, here Jesus, you have to eat this. It tastes like shit, but it's good for you. <laughs> God, I'm too much. Anyway, like Donald Sterling, broccoli is more than just a disgusting vegetable. By broccoli, drum means marijuana. He begins the song with this. He's essentially saying he's above all the negativity. He's a very cheerful and positive guy. Just look at him. You can't help but feel happy when you see him. After he retires from music, Music drum is going to stand for does real ass motivational speeches. Lil Yachty then comes in with a very sweet line asking a girl to be his sunshine, but then he follows it up with a shocking reference to Columbine. Yachty, you can't just be all cheerful and happy and then low key throw in a reference about murdering people. This is just further proof of it's not what you say, but how you say it. Like with your dog, you can be like, hey Rover, you want to go to the vet? You want to go? It's going to suck. They're going to take your temperature and it's probably going to be in your butt. Don't know why it's not in your ear. Like some normal shit, but they're gonna put a thermometer in your butt. I don't know, they're perverts, I guess. Let's go. And your dog will be like, uh, okay, not really sure what you're saying. Don't speak any English, but sounds like some good shit's about to happen. No, Rover, some good shit is not gonna happen. Anyway, Lil Yachty's lyrics are pretty straightforward, but at one point he says this, flea just means dressing fly, so it costs him $30,000 to dress fly. I'm just saying, for $30,000, that outfit better make him able to fly. God damn. Listen, Yachty, I'm gonna tell you how to do this. Go to Zara, get a whole outfit for $53, don't buy it. Come home, Google a promo code, get it delivered, open the package, call customer service, be like, hold up, I ordered jeans and two t-shirts, where my second t-shirt at? They'll be like, I'm sorry, sir, we'll send another t-shirt. Get the t-shirt, return it, savings, buy a waffle maker, now you got two t-shirts, jeans, and a waffle maker. I'm not done. Go to your friend's house, say, I'll bring the waffle Waffle maker, you bring the waffles. Free breakfast. That's how you do it. <clears throat> anyway, later on, he gives a shout out to fellow Atlanta rapper Skippa de Flippa. Yes, this is a rapper. Even though Skippa de Flippa sounds more like the name of a Spanish dolphin. Lil Yachty then makes a reference to Metro PCS, the official wireless carrier of people with no standards. Okay, so Drum begins the chorus with this. He's in the middle of the party and he needs his girl to get off him. This is completely understandable. The middle of the party is the worst place to be. Everybody's all over hyped, jumping up and down, trying to forget real life. Half the people ain't got enough cologne on, the other half got a c-section and no kid. It's just a horrible, horrible place. Think of it this way. Would you enjoy a circus if you were in the middle of the ring under the flying trapeze people sitting in elephant poop? No. Just like at a party, you gotta be up on the side, observing. Maybe doing a little two-step, I don't know. Drum then explains that he prefers a little more space so he can roll up his broccoli, his marijuana. He then switches to a common theme of your baby mama is in love with me. In defense of the baby mamas, who would not be in love with Drum? Am I right? What a nice guy. A little later, he says he has companies in pesos, implying that he's probably doing business in Mexico. Now, this would really anger Donald Trump, so that's just another reason to really love drum. Now here, you might be like, damn, what is up with all the food references? First broccoli, now prego, fettuccine, and alfredo. Holy shit, I'm hungry. Well, anyway, sauce it up means to show off, and prego is a brand of sauce. Fettuccine is good with alfredo sauce. He then mentions salmon, a bagel, and capers. This time, it's not a reference. He's just saying that now he has money, he can enjoy these fancier foods. And before you say a bagel isn't fancy, think again. A bagel is just a pretentious donut that hates having fun. Finally, one last food reference. Cheese, in this case, is slang for money. It's also, of course, considered dairy. Well, there you have it. The lyrics to Drum's Broccoli fully explained. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos and you want to see more, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kabir TV, by hitting the red button below. I have some more uh, Lyrics Explained videos, some rap parodies, and a wedding proposal. Don't ask. You can also follow me on Twitter at Kabir Iyengar. See you next time.